The rewriting women into maritime project started as an idea that one of my colleagues in Lloyd's Register group had. She realised there were lots of hidden stories in the archives in the City of London. Lots of the shipping organisations that she was working with had all these little gems hidden away and we wanted to see what was out there and find them. Taking the, the historical stories as our starting point was, was really exciting and, and that would engage me but we wanted to reach out to a much wider audience. So it quickly became clear that if we started looking at what was also happening in the maritime sector today, we could capture some of the stories of women working in the industry through a creative project and tell their stories as well. The idea of bringing this contemporary element in came through some of the work I've been following of some creative um, people over the last number of years. So um, Erna Janine, who's a weaver, and also Emily Sandy, who's a portrait photographer. It was only suitable to go on a big road trip around the UK and visit the women, spend time with them, mm -hmm. find out about their professions, um, their particular situation as, as a woman within that profession and then to find out the stories that they'd like to highlight in a creative way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it began in December, the research, researching and locating, finding women, connecting. Yeah. And then we were full on sprint mode from March until beginning of July was our last participant. And yes. it's taken us all over. So UK, Wales, Scotland, Sweden. Out at sea, in the harbour, yeah. in the docks. What we do is quite unique. So it's, you don't see a lot of portrait photography that is partially staged, partially with a metaphorical layer. Um, and very playful as well with mm -hmm. the textiles that almost comes from a sort of puppetry type of thinking. Like it, it could be a piece of cloth, could be a wave, it could be a cloud, it could be a hint of the horizon. You know, you can read it in different ways. And I think it's always interesting that the, the viewer gets a little bit triggered to, to look deeper into an image. So it's, it's not so plain cloth, there's, there's more levels of meaning within the photograph. And yeah. I think that, that's ultimately what we try to do. It's a little bit more than um, just a, a visual of, of a woman in a harbour. It is it's about her role, it's about who she is, it's mm -hmm. about her also taking charge within the photo, but obviously representing her taking charge of her life. We're aware that there are a lot of opportunities in the maritime sector for people to come in and work in it and that there's a lot of diversity that's needed in the sector. There's a really um, small percentage of women who work in leadership roles in the shipping industry so what we want is to show that there are these women in leadership roles and that there have been historically. If you don't see it then you don't know it can happen. So to bring all of this fantastic information and all of this creative work together, we're hosting an exhibition at the International Maritime Organisation in September and the exhibition is called She Sees and it's going to be bringing together then, now and onwards. So it's going to talk about the women through these historical stories that we found. It's going to talk about the, the current contemporary sector which has been captured through um, interviews and photographs and then we've got the onwards, what next? <laughs>